Welcome back. Well, starting a business can be very, very risky. There's a lot that goes into it. So you want to make sure that you're making all the right decisions. Well, the first the question you might should be asking yourself is, where should I be setting up shop? And our next guest actually might have the answer for you. So join us now. We've got Steve Lillistall, Community Development Advisory Board for the City of Thief River Falls and a business owner in the area as well. Steve, great to have you on the show. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having Thief River Falls on North Dakota Today. Thank Appreciate you so much. That. Yeah, it's great, great community. And so 2020, uh, been a tough year. That might be putting it mildly for a lot of people out there. What's going on in Thief River Falls business community right now? We've got a lot of great things going on in Thief River. My business itself, I have uh, road construction going on. You know, it, we have January, February, then we get coronavirus in March, and then we get road construction in June, July, August, September, October. So <laughs> some of those things are going on. But outside of that, we got great things in Thief River Falls. Thief River Falls is a vibrant, healthy, growing community. And that's evidenced by, you know, a lot of communities have lost some bigger stores, some bigger, bigger uh, spaces. So like Thief River, we lost our J.C. Penney's, we lost a Kmart, we lost uh, a grocery store, we lost uh, a Elks building downtown, a big jobby that's that's two full stores of the full basement. All of those things have been purchased and repurposed into something else. We got a fleet supply, we got a tractor supply, we got Ronnings, and then the Elks building, a construction company in Thiefer itself, bought it, and now there's three businesses in there, and one of them is a is a brand new restaurant on the second floor. We have a lot of great things going on in Thief River Falls. I love that. So in your opinion, why do you think Thief River Falls is such a great place to own a business? The biggest thing for me, you can have the Taj Mahal. So let's talk about the Taj Mahal. We have DigiKey. DigiKey Electronics is mm -hmm. in Thief River Falls. And DigiKey Electronics is our biggest employer. They employ over 3,500 employees. They're building right now a 1 million square foot facility that will cost over half a billion dollars. Now, wow. with that, you can have the Taj Mahal. But if you don't have good employees working for you, taking care of your customers, taking care of your product, taking care of your services, you got nothing. So we got great employees in Thief River Falls. Man, I didn't realize the DigiKey thing was going to be that. That's incredible. So congratulations to Thief River Falls. It's ginormous. I mean, in fact, Chris, in fact, Chris, one of the, the, the neatest uh, demographic numbers or statistical numbers is our town is about 8,900 people. And yet we have 10,000 jobs in Thief River Falls. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> that is such an incredible stat. So the, the total population is about 8,900 and then you've got 10,000 jobs just in that community? Exactly, exactly. Wow. So obviously you've got a lot of competition then for jobs. So what's the work ethic like there in Thief River? Well, it, it's a great work ethic and that's why we're all fighting for these employees. <laughs> we, we'd, love to see, we'd love to see our community grow by two, three, four thousand people and we even have a plan for that. We had a strategic plan in 2012 calling for 900 housing units to be built in the next 10 years. And I'm happy to say that through this year, we have over 430 of those units already built. And those units aren't just all houses. They're also apartment complexes and buildings and such like that and twin homes and townhomes. Well, and you know this, that first step of saying, hey, I'm going to own my own business can be scary at times. So what kind of resources do you all have in Deep River Falls to, to hold people's hands and help them out? Well, great. And that's where maybe the Community Development Advisory comes in. And I'm on that board. Uh, we have had different <laughs> programs. We have one of the neatest ones. I've been on that board, I think, for 15 years. And one of the neatest ones we just got done with. And we had about 35 businesses take advantage of this. And it was an emergency micro loan that... Jeepers, come on, restaurants and bars and hotels and beauty shops and all of that. Everyone was affected by the coronavirus right, right away. And we, as a community, we recognize that for these businesses. And we need to get some money in their hands real quick. And we set up a $10,000 micro loan and, we, and we, did 10, we did 35 of those loans. Wow. And that's one of the things I'm most, most satisfied for and happy with. But we have commercial, uh, commercial energy development loans we have storefront renovation loans and then we have uh commercial development revolving loan as well that takes care of uh, bigger projects steve great stuff you're a great ambassador i gotta wrap it up here but quickly is there a website or someplace you can go to find out more information about uh, thief river falls yes it's advanced thief river.com advanced thief river.com and then the person to talk to is probably michelle landsberg she would be our director of the advanced thief river program Great stuff. Steve, thanks for being on the show. We'd love to have you back, okay? We will. We will. Thank you, Chris. Have Thank a great you, sir. Day. You too.
All right, yeah, stick around. We got a lot more coming up right after this.